Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hi. What are you guys screaming about? I don't know if you can see. I've got them in. <laughs> they are currently in timeout so I can finish setting up their new pen. And they're not happy about it. They're mad. They're very mad, very upset. It's good evening. Hello, friends. I promise it won't be like this the whole time. Hold on. I'm very sorry. You guys trashed your room. I have to clean it. I have to clean it. Yeah, you guys are disasters. Just little disasters. Hello, it's good evening. Oh, thank you. You're very sweet. Just got to set up. They have outgrown their smaller, narrower pen, so we're making it bigger. <laughs> but we have to put pee pads down because someone, and I'm not saying it's crusty, but I'm not, not saying it's crusty, is... Still missing the litter box on occasion, so. False imprisonment? Absolutely not. They did it and they know that they did it. They are dirty little babies, but I love them. But they are little disasters. I hear you. They're just screaming. They're like, you trapped me in this one time. How dare you do it again? They're cute. I know. Look at look at that. Moo is ready to get out. He's like, what the heck? What the heck? Moo is livid. I think I'm in trouble with Moo. I think he or she, I still don't know if Moo is a she or a he, I'm going to be honest. Uh, I think they're going to give me a run for my money. They're also very cute, so that helps a lot. I can't get that to work. Go in the slot. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> Alright. This is a much bigger space than what they had before. It's good evening. Let's get the little nuggets in here. And then I gotta get them a litter box. <laughs> At least Moo knows which way is out now. They did. They did. They did learn. Okay. Okay. This is little crusty. Look at this baby. Ooh, why is there a filter on? Ew, we don't like filters. I don't want a filter. How do I? I want filters off. It looks so bad. Effects? None. I don't know what to do. Everything has changed since I last like was on live a lot. Um, enhance, filters, none. Okay, we're back to the nasty yellow. We're good, we're good. Okay. We have Moo. Come here, Moo. Moo is by far the smallest. Look at that angry face. Look at those pupils. So mad. Moo's a girl. Moo's a girl. Moo is a girl. For a while there, it, it was a little questionable, but Moo is, Moo is a girl. So that's a big reveal tonight. I started off with the big reveal. Let me get the last one. Davey! And Davey's is super smart. She also has this cute little smiley face on her belly. Look at her little smiley face belly. She's really smart. The only, the big problem with like them being sick like this and you don't get to know their personalities that much. But she's like super smart girl boss. Moo is actually mad at me all the time. Actually, Moo is really upset right now. Here, <laughs> let me show you. Uh, I know, she's so cute. Oh, that's not, that's not where we flip things. Moo is very mad. Moo! Excuse me. 
Look at how mad Moo is. What are you doing? Davy? Moo is disgruntled. Moo is the angry bean. Yes, yes they are. Look at how mad they are. They do not like their new space. Crust is like, heck yeah. Ooh, that means that they can get their little, they, I had to take their TP out because they kept like jumping, like they climb up, it was in the corner, they jump onto the edge and then jump out. Oh, Moo is so, look at this, look. They are running around. They're like exploring, having a good time. Moo's angry. Moo is angry. <laughs> took away all the hard work. I sure did. You pooped all over that pen and I cleaned it up. Moo was zero out of five stars. Moo does not like, does not appreciate my upgrade. I gotta get you a litter box. I gotta get you a litter box. <laughs> they are about five, four-ish, four and a half, five weeks old. It's been about three weeks since they have been, since they were diagnosed with Pan Luke. So they're probably closer to five weeks now. Hello, everybody. Guess I'm live. Thank you. You guys are sweet. Are they all girls? No, we have one boy. Krusty's a boy. You're just a little crust. You're just a little crust. God, you're so cute. They choose nothing but violence now. Krusty and Davy are pretty good. Look at how Moo has gone feral. Look at this. Moo. Moo is so, oh my God, you can't even see her face. You are so mad. Why are we so mad? She is so mad. That seems to be the theme. All my fosters have only had one boy this year. So we have one foster who has all girls. We have another foster who has all boys and one girl. Like five boys, one girl. We have another foster that's equally distributed. Who is the drama yet? She got put in the timeout toaster. <laughs> you guys, that's really funny. Oh, Lord. The timeout toaster. She's very upset. I'm sorry. I have to get their litter box. And I can't hold it. Here. Let me, let me finish what I was, I was doing. No one puts baby in the corner. No, I put him in the timeout toaster. That is, that comment wins. You win. You win. Timeout toaster is my new favorite thing. <laughs> I'm going to have to make that one of my Patreon tiers. Like it's just going to, I'm going to have to rename something timeout toaster. I have a feeling I'm going to be getting really creative with those names because everything Everything makes sense. Like everything just changes all the time. Timeout toaster, chef kiss. I need to get your litter box. Thank you. Oh, that was so scary. So scary litter box. And then we need their food. And then I can grab my phone with, you know, my, un my glove, my non glove hands. Here's some food. They're basically weaned at this point, which is awesome for me. What? There's your water. Here's your dinner that you haven't eaten yet. Here you go. Ooh. And they get this back. Oh, I'm gonna put it in the middle so they can't climb out and jump onto anything. And then get them this little toy, and then a box. Okay, I'm coming back, guys. Sorry, I know that was not very exciting. Morning Muse and the Timeout Toaster. I'm loving Patreon. I'm glad you got like the Morning Muse. I am enjoying writing them. I know it's been like three days, but I've been enjoying writing them. Okay, see, we're still in the same predicament. Nice, look at this. Look at these accommodations, okay? I'm not sure I can stay awake. Yes, I will upload to YouTube. And I know I say that all the time, but I promise this time I will. I just forget. It's a problem. How is Posh? Posh is doing really, really good. Um, she, so it kind of seems like we're not going to be able to see her tonight because she's in my master bathroom. And that's where my partner is currently sleeping. Not in the bathroom. I have not banished them to the bathroom, but you know, they're in that room. I'm trying to be considerate. Um, 
<laughs> well, loving the morning news, really want to drink a coffee. Thank you. But so she's like walking on her, she's walking, but she's got like a little hump in her back. So it almost looks like she hurt her back. It, it's odd. Moo on the move. Moo isn't being great, brave. They're being, she's being grumpy. Your daughter has the unicorn blanket. They love it. They, I like using blankets like this because they're so much easier to wash when they're this young. They'll start getting beds soon, but right now they still kind of poop on their beds, so they get blankets. You're fostering 22 kittens at the moment? Sassy, that is a lot of kittens. I will not pick them up because I don't have my gloves on. I appreciate you guys appreciating the Patreon. It's a lot of fun. And also, one of you guys sent me these, and they've been amazing for this room because I have, like, shoes for this room. Are they pre-adopted yet? They are not, but they will be up for adoption very soon. Hello from Ireland. Hello, friends. What are you doing, Davy? Davy's just so smart and gorgeous. Are you glad you got into the whole TikTok thing? I have so many kittens, I feel like I should. Um, yeah. I don't regret it even for two seconds. I mean, if we're gonna be fully transparent, I'm gonna be turning 30 this year. I'll just be a 30-year-old lady, as our Queen Jenna would say. And for a while, I wasn't sure exactly what I needed or wanted to do with my life. And I think Patreon and finding something that worked, for, that quote-unquote worked for me, <laughs> and it just kind of made me believe in myself. And, uh, I don't know. I've just, I've, I've changed a lot in the last year. I'm not even close to the person that I was a year ago. You know, a year ago I was very lost and confused and I feel like, I feel like I've grown up. You know what I mean? Sorry, I have to grab something. Ugh. I feel like, I, I wish there was like a back end camera you could see because I am like, that was quite the stretch there. The three of us doing it, it's not as much work, but still, it's still a lot. And coordinating that much amount of work is a lot. Hi, boo-boos. Pet videos on TikTok make my whole day. Aw. What is Patreon? It's like TikTok, sort of, but not not like TikTok at all. It's like a it's just a way that you can help support your favorite content creators, whether they create TikToks or YouTube or they do podcasts. A lot of podcasters do it. Moo, stop being so mad. Moo is so mad. So mad. When do you usually start weaning? So I try to start weaning at about five weeks old. I once tried weaning at four weeks old and um, it just didn't work out for me. It just did not work for me. They seem to be, they seem to be very resistant at four weeks old. So I just pushed them to five weeks old and then they, you're still a baby to me. Well, Sissy, that's because I was literally a baby. I'm, I've literally been a baby your whole life. Um, Playpen is from Amazon. You like how I just completely changed topics. Totally forgot what I was saying. Oh, the weaning. Yeah, I usually push the... F Moo is, like, not having it. Moo, this is for you. <laughs> Padam is doing great. Oh, goodness. 11-year-old fosters pop up on my FYP. My, me too. I mean, I follow all of them, but then they still, they still pop up, and I love it. I'm here for the sass. Moo is just not having it. They did not appreciate this. Plum is doing great. She, you can follow her. She's um, at the F A L cats. Moo is too young to be mad. No, no. Moo is the perfect age to be mad. Look at you climbing. How are garage babies? They're great. So three of them went to foster the other day, and they've been doing really good. They've been actually really clingy with the foster. They've been like super cuddly and wonderful. The last two, I'm. One of them is still eating I think exclusively from mom so I can't separate them just yet we're not going to go out there during the live because I that would really stress out mama so we're not going to go out there but I did bring them inside to hang out Plum TikTok is pure chaos truly which is very uh very consistent with her what are you doing what are you doing what are you doing oh you getting all tough don't get all tough on me been having a hard time with ear mites. Um, we use Revolution as a rescue, and Revolution Plus is one of those things that um, treats for ear mites. 
or revolution treats for ear mites. So we don't usually have an issue. And if they do have ear mites, we clean them out and then the revolution usually takes care of it. Not my vet advice, just what we do, but there are ear mite treatments. What do you mean Plum's turned into a sassy pants? She's always been a sassy pants. <laughs> Kittens are five weeks old. Love when kitties spit. It's so sassy and fun. I know. What's up with cow cat? She's just very mad. I've loved seeing Splattered Bugle in their forever home. They're doing so good. Whoa! That was not very coordinated, Crest. Although the upgrade is pretty fantastic. They had it literally half of the space five minutes ago. And now you're all upset. Any kittens that need to get boosted? Not currently. Currently, we're good. Have you ever done Teletubby theme names? I'm picturing a Tinky Winky kitten. That'd be pretty funny. No, but someone suggested Vacuum as a name, and I did like that. What are you doing? Are we climbing? Moo is like just not having it. The bu the video of Bu grooming spaghetti had me tearing up. I know. But that's what they would always do. Like he would be a jerk and then all of a sudden he'd be like, I love you. Moo is not a fan of change, that is correct. They're gonna go hide. She can go hide in her little hidey hole and be grumpy pants. I try my best to find the best homes for all these babies. Any advice for weaning off the bottle? Yeah, um, make sure you're starting at the appropriate age. So they need to have teeth. I usually wait until the teeth are fully in. Um, get them really good stinky food. If they, don't be surprised if they don't initially try to bite it. Usually what I like to do is I like to just put a little bit in their mouth and a lot of the times they just figure it out after that. Um, continue to give them the bottle while they're weaning. Don't ever take away the bottle until you know that they're fully weaned or until they're like eating all the time. Next group name, vacuum broom, mop, duster, and sponge. I do love that. Move the floor is lava. You're not wrong. Okay, you guys gonna pout? Okay, if they're gonna pout, then we are gonna go hang out with the upstairs crew. Goodbye, my loves. Goodbye. I gotta wash my hands though. I'm gonna take off my sick shoes. Turn off all the lights in here. My light bulbs keep going in and out and see that keeps flickering. So I need to get more light bulbs, but I just, I just keep forgetting. I just keep forgetting. Goodbye. Baby cute. Oh, we got, let's see. Booby, what you doing, boob? Got booby, got foof, got mama, got tado, 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 tado. <laughs> She's so mad. You give such Jenna Marbles vibes and you love it. Well, thank you. I feel like she raised so many of us. Dinner. The beer that I did not have, but my partner did have. Shadow always mad. Tado very mad. Tado has been purring a lot recently though, so like I can't complain. She doesn't normally purr, so purr getting purrs from Shadow is like a very rare, rare thing. You don't have to change clothes after the pan loop babies. Um so great, great question. So we're, we're past the point of like it being, it's been three weeks and they can kind of shed it in their stool on and off, but we're basically at the point where it's not, they're not actively like having diarrhea. They're not actively, um, seemingly having that issue. So I glove up and I make sure that I have uh, shoes on and then I just handle them with my hands and then do a nice little wash and then, um, We've been good to go. When they were in their really infectious stage, I would fully like, you know, fully derobe, full change of clothes every time. But they've been, they don't have an active case, essentially. And so I feel pretty safe doing it this way. 
The cats don't get into the leftout food. No, my cats do, do not get into the leftout food. Every once in a while, Shadow will try to eat some Beyond Meat. She really likes Beyond Meat, but I just, I just let her have it. You know what I mean? You ready to adopt? That's awesome. Definitely adopt. Which helps. Yeah, we're vegan, so we don't have like chicken. There's no chicken laying around this house where they can just eat. But Shadow does like Beyond Meat. Which is which is beyond me. I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> I got jokes. Let me get a drink and then we'll go upstairs. Bobby and bread. Bobby does like bread. And she like knows when there's bread out. Like if we're, if we bring home pizza or a reheating pizza, she's like. You get a rose for that joke. Thank you. That was pretty. They make Beyond Me beef jerky dough. They do. They don't sell it down here. Just tried to walk and drink. It's all over my face. Um, hello. Hello. What are we doing? What's going on? Your first cat left chili and cantaloupe. That's interesting. They were sold out. Well, I don't think that'd really be a problem down here. What? Oh my goodness. Tato. Oh yes, we're in the Hello Scrim stage. Hi, babies. I'm a store lurker and saw the label. Very nice. Okay. We now have you're gonna be on my lap. We got a little Jack Jack and we got Edna mode. Edna is wild. Like, I thought Jack Jack had a lot of energy. Edna has a lot of energy. Hi, Tato. Look, we got the whole crew. I just got really thirsty. Tato be making some Tatoes. Yes, for little mashed Tato brain. What are we doing? Little Tato. We have no kittens in Wisconsin so far. Only like 15. They go to two seconds at my shelter. Really? Wisconsin doesn't have many kittens? Tato facing the wrong way, per usual. She's now two full days off the bottle and she doesn't love it. But she's doing okay. Hi. We adopted three cats in one year. Cat one and three were sibs, but adopted a year apart almost. Oh, you got the return sib? Jack Jack is everything. She's a good girl. Her name is Eve Tato. That is her official name. But we call her Potato here. My partner calls her Potato. I call her Tato. Wally! Must reserve her to adopt all fur babies. You don't want to adopt all fur babies. That's a lot. What you doing? Jack Jack, that's not for you. How many kitties do you have at your house right now? I have four in here. I have two ringworm babies. So that's six. And then three downstairs. So that's ten. And then I have three in the garage. So thirteen. Well, fourteen if we count. Miss Posh. But hopefully she won't be staying here long. Hello. Did Wally steal your partner yet? Every day he gets a little... Every day he's a getting closer. You're allergic to cats? I'm sorry. Did I go to Clemson? I got my grad. I got my PhD at Clemson. I am in Seneca, South Carolina. I'm heading to bed. I watch this when, when the eye of the teeth. What up the pepper bug? Good night. <laughs> If Tato and Edna don't end up with a TikTok, that's okay. But I do know that Edna and Jack Jack's family or mother has a TikTok already. It's good evenings. Hello. I'm not near. I mean, I guess I'm near Charleston. I'm a few hours from Charleston. I need to know how fluffy Tato will be. 
That is something we do need to know if for science. Are we sleepy? Oh, we're so sleepy. We're so sleepy. I can take a man if I want to. But he does want to. That's the problem. Can't wait to say Jack. Jack Jack's markings in about six months. I know. As they continue to... Like, she becomes a little bit more orange in spots. And she has her little mustache. Um, hello. Look at this lip liner. Can you show them your lip liner? I just want to show them your lipstick. Tato is the epitome of I got into my mom's makeup and I don't know what to do. Like, she finished half her face. She did her nose and then part of her lips. Look at those. Look at those little lips. Are bonded pairs always siblings? Nope. They are not. I want to get a cat, but my mom said we can't until we move to another home. Listen to your mother. Yes, Tato's pre-adopted. Everyone here is pre-adopted. Do any baby sleep in your bed? Just my own. I don't usually let the foster kittens, unless they're like an older bunch, sleep with me. So like uh, Casita and Candela got to sleep with us. Um, Chloe and Ela got to sleep with us for just a little bit. And then um, everyone else really just kind of, they weren't allowed. My Lipic from Home Depot. <laughs> from Home Depot. Since I kicked my ex out, I'm now free to adopt. Very excited. Mm, we love that. I love that Gizmo sleeps with me. Gizmo's just a sweet, cuddly boy. Daubers and Dud, of course they got to sleep with me. But they were also were confined to the master bedroom and bathroom, so. Mama can't move babies from under our deck at work to an old brush. If you can trap mom and get babies and move them indoors, that would be most ideal. Get her, Wally. Wally McWalberton. We got an abandoned kitty. How do I make her love me? It's been three months. Has two older sis. Um, make sure that she feels safe. So a lot of times when people bring new cats home, they just throw them into a new environment. Make sure she knows that she has a space that is hers and she feels safe and she can hide from the other cats and she can bond with you one-on-one -on -one with the other cats and just give her time and patience and lots of treats. Hello, McForest. Oh, thank you, Mandy. Jack, Jack, and Enda seem to really like each other. They do. They get along probably the best. I think I know where she has them. I have someone who's offered a trap, but it's company property. What do you mean? You can't just go there after hours and trap. Not that I would suggest doing that, but you know. <laughs> Posh is great. So if you were following, Posh came from a different foster and she either injured herself or has something that's called walking, uh, walking, limping Khaleesi virus, which is a virus they can get. It's just like the very simmered down version of the Khaleesi virus. I think she actually hurt her back because she's walking today, albeit very oddly. She may have hurt her back. It may still be limping Khaleesi, but she's doing better. She's eating. I still have to do fluids because she's not drinking water, but she seems to be doing a lot better. Feral Mama is great. Plan for her is to get her final two babies eating wet food or dry food. One of them is eating dry food. The other one, though, is not. Hello. And then she's going to go back to the place that we trapped her at. Is Wally still available? He is not. But we do have other tabbies who are just as playful and sweet up for adoption. Uh, also, Posh will be up for adoption very soon. And all of her, all of her siblings who, are, who look just like her and are also female orange tabbies. For babies, I like using paper litter because they tend to explore things with their mouth. And it's the <laughs> safest thing for them to eat. Is Feral Mom upset you're taking babies from her? Do you think? I don't think so. Um, Khaleesi, Game of Thrones. Um, so the Khaleesi virus, some people call it Khaleesi, some people call it Khaleesi. It's C-A-L-I-C-I. -I, Khaleesi, like Cali C. Um, not spelt like Khaleesi from Game of Thrones. I've never watched Game of Thrones, so it's hard for me to make a litter after Game of Thrones. Can you share why you keep Garage Mom and didn't mean the kittens? While you're keeping Garage Mom and didn't wean the kittens, just wondering. So I'm not keeping her. So what had happened with Garage Mom is we trapped her during a regular... Ow, babies. No, not my toes. Anything but the toes. 
and uh, I'm going to hide them from you. Um, we trapped her during a regular TNR and we got her, we kept her overnight. We got her spayed. Look at this belly. Look at that belly. Look at your belly. And the, after she got spayed, the doctor was like, Hey, by the way, she's nursing. She probably has babies. And we were like, well, crap. So we reached out to the feeder and we were like, Hey, you want to go look for babies? <laughs> We'll come and get them if we need to, but maybe you could get a head start and look because we were going to go out that night and get them. When she found them, they were only two weeks old. So rather than separate them from their mom, mom was full of milk. Mom was ready to be a mom. So we just brought the babies to my house. We put mom and babies together and she has been taking care of them beautifully for the last three weeks-ish. And um, I, I mean, she's been absolutely wonderful in terms of being a mother so I wasn't, I don't ever like to separate babies and mom if possible. The reason that you guys don't see a lot of moms on my page is because a lot of times I get kittens from moms that have either been in their babies or mom has passed or they're not taking care of their babies a lot or they like were just randomly found and they don't know where mom is. But if I can keep mom and babies together, that is ideal. So if she's staying with me until the babies, I am confident that the babies are eating wet food or eating dry food. And then I will separate her from her babies and get her back to her place that where she lives, place where she gets fed, place where she loves, and she won't have to ever have babies again and never have to see me ever again. Saucy Skates TikTok. I know Saucy underscore Skates is her TikTok. I do a Game of Thrones set. There are so many, so many TBH. I don't, I've never watched Game of Thrones. Look at her. Look at that queen. It's a little tall for you. Maybe I need to bring the shorter one in. Good girl. Spade and still producing milk. Wow. Well, you have to think about it. So, like, just because she got those hormones removed, the act of nursing can produce, like, start producing those hormones again. So, just because she got, her like, her ovaries out doesn't mean she's not producing those hormones. It's just, if she weren't nursing, she wouldn't have that extra amount of hormones. So, yeah, a lot of, a lot of spayed moms can still nurse. Do, do, do. Oh, I see. I didn't realize most of the bottle babies were, we were, we see were without moms. Yeah, so that's, that's generally what I do. If I can keep them with mom, that is the ideal thing. I know they're huge. I've never watched Star Wars, so again, that's another one that, like, it's a cute theme. I could not relate to those names. Splatter's doing really well. She's the same size as the fountain is. Thoughts on World Best Letter? Just curious, it's made of corn. I didn't like it because it just felt really dusty, and the kittens kept, like, sneezing because of the dust. So I used it once and didn't like it. Some people swear by it, so I think it's just a preference. I am so sorry, not your usual cat, Karen. My heart goes with you. What about a uh, nat Naturo theme? I think we can do that. My partner was really into that, so I bet we can get a good... I've never seen Star Wars. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's okay. I don't feel like I miss it much. Princess Bride? I've never seen Princess Bride. Has Eve Tato found a forever home yet? Yes, she has. Pine pellets are just as good. What do you suggest doing if my cat is always pushing the water bowl around? Um, your cat might be bored. Try getting doing something to keep them more mentally stimulated and then see how that works. Eve Tato is an instigator. I saw you have a demon slayer litter in your rescue. I do. Saucy Skates, a.k.a. Bethany, a.k.a. the person who keeps me in check, <laughs> keeps me sane. Um, she has the Demon Slayer. You guys, I hear you. We don't have any kittens to name right now. We can have a movie we can stat. <laughs> no, I don't want to watch Star Wars. I'm sorry, I don't. I really don't want to watch Star Wars. What you drinking? Um, it's just flavored water. Not like quote unquote adult flavored water. It's just flavored water. 
Princess Bride is worth the watch? I'll think about it. Is there a cat demeanor that is good for first-time cat mom? I would go for maybe uh, an older one. If you're looking for one, just go for an older cat that really wants to be a single kitty that's very lovable. I think having a good experience with an easy, lovable, sweet older cat would be ideal. Kittens, usually I recommend in two. Otherwise, they can be wild and sometimes they can be annoying. And I mean that with peace and love. Ow! Edna, as I say, as Edna bites my toe. Edna, you can't keep biting toes. It's not for you. Do you have a secret geek obsession? I don't. Like something that I'm like super geeked out over. Um, I think... I think I put that full on display. I mean, this is my, what you see is what you get. This is my whole life. I learn everything I can about their welfare, their, all the sicknesses they could ever possibly get. I mean, I learned everything. Edna loves toes, darling. Toes are for Edna. Edna. I get out of shots, just have my kitty. A lot of people do. I think that's right. She also likes love at first sight. I love love at first love at first sight. I don't think that that's a TV show. I like married at first sight. I like love is blind. I like are you the one? I mean, any trash TV, give it to me. Flava Flav, you give it to me. Do you support the LGBTQ? Yes. Why would I not support them? They are people just trying to live their life here. You know what I mean? Just let people be people. And let them enjoy their lives. Sister Wives, I, have a, I don't like Sister Wives, but I love watching any documentary about fundal, fundamentalist Mormons. Like that whole, that whole cult mentality and that whole thing is just very interesting to me. The Circle is a really good one. What about the one they dress up as animals? I tried to watch the one. I didn't like it. I didn't like that one. I do know what you mean, Jelly Bean. I'm a huge trash TV fan. They're awesome. Do you like Love Island? I've never watched. I've watched Too Hot to Handle. It's also a good one. Can I boop Snoot? She will probably... Oh, we're booping. We're booping. Have you watched The Ultimatum? I have not, but I saw it. My husband's allergic to cats, but he just medicates air purifiers and no cats in the bedroom. I think, you know, it's just about kind of trial and error. You're watching the Andrew Garfield series about fundamentalist Mormons? Where do I find this? You need to tell me right now where I find this. Did you watch a train wreck that was ultimatum? No, but if it's a train wreck, I'm all for it. Proud ex-Mormon supports your love of fundamentalist documentaries. Thank you. I just find anything that's like that. Like, there are so many documentaries I've watched about, like, cults. I just find that idea just so fascinating and how people get lost in it. You know what I mean? Like how people, and, and I don't like, I'm not saying that Mormon, like people who are born into the religion that is fundamentalist Mormonism, Mormonism, Mormons um, are like, they fall for it because it's all they know, you know, the only life that they know. But there are a lot of people who, who over time like fall into a cult. And I find that just fascinating. I'm looking for the comment on where I can find this. This It's on Hulu. I don't have Hulu. I might have to get Hulu just to watch it. What about the Kardashians? I refuse to support that in any way, shape, or form. Under the banner of heaven? I, all right. Okay. I guess I need to get Hulu for like a month and watch. Have you read Educated? It's so good. Yes. Educated was such a good book. I loved it. I couldn't stop. I listen to books. I don't read them anymore. But I couldn't stop listening. The ultimatum is so messy. Mm, I'm here with that. I love train wrecks. Do you have HBO Max? I do have HBO Max. I have Disney Plus, And we have Netflix. How do you handle the kitty claws on your legs? Oh, I, I basically just don't feel them anymore. Under the Banner of Heaven on Hulu. All right, I have to get... The Nexium Cult happened right where I live. That's wild. I watched that one, too. So many conflicted emotions. Hi, Emily. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean this to be a bad call-out, but, you know, I just... Anything that's, like, a cult, 
anything like that, that type of documentary, I am like, I'm v excited for the Jeff, Jeff trial to come back next week. I am too, and I feel guilty about it because I know that, you know, I live in America, our world is falling apart, everything is, is going into fire, but this is the only thing that's bringing me serotonin, and you know what, they chose to put it out, their life out there, and I'm just here to consume it. I will be tuning into Emily D. Baker, I will be hanging in there, and it's going to be a good week, you know what I mean? There's like three episodes left before it's done, so wait till it's all out. Okay, I will wait then. I will do it. So June is my birthday month. I will get Hulu for my birthday month, and then I'll watch it. I did watch Scientology expose docu shows. She needs to be exposed. I agree. Parts of the trials for next year trial happened in the courts I used to go to work for. Oh, that's wild. The deep dives in cult and serial killers. Last podcast. Okay. Are you a murderino? Oh, I don't think so. No. Chloe and Ela came running out of the sound of my voice. It's Chloe and Ela. Hello, my babies. I miss them. Chloe is such a cuddle bug, and Ela is such an independent queen. I'm a June baby to what date? Actually, you'd want to know the saddest thing in the entire world. I'm watching Emily D. Baker right now. She's great. I love Emily. She's wonderful. Um, You want to know the saddest thing about my birthday month? Don't love the Johnny Depp tie. Lots of DV advocates, including me, have lots of feels. I can... F- I, you know, as someone who's never... Fortunately, never experienced that. I don't have those feelings but I can completely understand how this can be incredibly hurtful in in just a lot and in just too much for people who have experienced that so I'm I'm very sorry okay where's Wally at he's right here I'm a cancer okay so here here's the sad thing my birthday is on the exact same day that Jenna Marbles put out her final video. The exact same day. So I got up that morning. It was a Thursday morning. And I was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go make some breakfast. I'm going to watch Jenna. And I'm not going to do anything today. And it's going to be great. And then I tuned in. And I was like, this is a joke. This is, this is a joke. She'll be back next week. It's okay. It's fine. No big deal. And then it was not a joke, and I was very sad. <laughs> Time to change your birthday. That's what I meant. Don't be sad. It was a sad day. I've got you beat me. My birthday is <laughs> You know what? It's not funny, but it's also kind of funny. You win. <laughs> It was your mom's birthday. Oh, yeah. June here, but a Gemini. You must be early June. Mine is this month. Well, happy birthday, everyone. I don't know what that sign is. I'm very sorry. Do you ever watch content from other cat rescues? Sometimes. Um, I can find... Wa- I find watching a lot of other cat content very overwhelming because I... I live it every day, and sometimes I go to TikTok for a break, and so I do something else. My dad died the day before my birthday. I'm sorry. I'm a Virgo with Gemini as my moon. I don't know what any of that means, but free slushies on your birthday. 7-Eleven. 25th birthday and gay marriage was legalized. That's awesome. My sister's birthday is today. Turned 30 on Friday the 13th. Happy birthday to your sister. I don't know how to... You were born the same day as Kim Kardashian. That's interesting. Hi, Jack Jack. Jack Jack. Your captions make your video the best. Thank you. Thank you, Beach. Hey, I'm June 24th. We're next door neighbors. My nine month old son loves watching all your videos. Oh, that's so sweet. Your husband's is May 31st. Happy birthday. No purrs? Well, we're not in we're not in per per feelings right now. 
Jack-Jack does look expensive, but she's literally a trash panda. Hello? Jack-Jack, what are you plotting? This. This is what she... What are you doing? Get her, Tato. You get her. I have the same birthday as Taylor Swift. Well, you didn't need to flex on us like that. Okay? We get it. You're better than everyone. Sometimes... Universe just chooses their people, and you're one of them. Thanks for your answer. Hello from the UK. Nickname for the potato in UK is Spud. Spud Taito. Your birthday is two days ago. Happy birthday. Is Jack Jack a calico cat? Yes, because she is white. Tato can hold her own as she can. Have we done a T-Swift letter? We have not, but what would that be? Hello from New York. Jack, Jack. He said hello from New York. All right. We got to go see our ringworm babies to wrap it up. All right, babies. We're going to the ringworm babies. Do da, do da. Oh. <laughs> such red Timogra. Okay, so like after names. That makes sense. Shall we? Let us go. Gotta be quiet. Gotta be super quiet. So this room is the one that I have to, I will have to fully change clothes when we're done. But until then, I'm just gonna put my little booties on. Have you had a talker? You mean like kitty talkers? Yes. Hold on, let me put my booties on. And then put my gloves on. Cause we're gonna go see the ringworm babies. Is this shy ringworm baby's nose okay? It looks hurt. It was hurt, but it is healing. I think she scratched it on the cage or on the carrier when I first got her and by got her I mean plucked her from the bushes okay okay and then also I have to take a shower after this so we'll be done after this the babies have to stay in isolation until Ooh, let me get a can of food they have to stay until they have a negative, a negative PCR test. Hello. Hi, cowboy. I volunteer my local humane society in the cat room and say good mornings. All cats deserve good mornings. <laughs> Cure depression. Oh, that makes me happy. Perfect boy after your showdown. He, you know what I've decided is after the whole debacle, he was like, all right, you win. I'll play your game. I'll play your game. Come here, cowboy. Come here, Bubs. Where's your sister? I hear you. Come here, buddy. Maybe you're 30 years younger than me. It seems like it goes slow, but you'll blink and you're old. That's how I feel. Beepop is some. Hi, Beepop. Hi, girly. Who's your favorite kitten? How dare you? Do not ask me those questions. I cannot pick a favorite. Cowboy is so fluffy, and he purrs. He was just playing hard to get. It was just a game. Hi, buddy. Hold is always better than the alternative. That is that is true. Any taxi. Hey, cynical. <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> Ringworm is really good, actually. All their spots, all of his spots no longer glow and are actually, like, growing hair back. Um, her ear still has, like, one hair glowing on it. I checked the other day, but the whole spot is like closing up she may not have a fave now but dead dead and daubers had her heart i know those were my fave i miss them a lot pop 
Polydactyl paws? No, just big paws. Him's just going to be big boy. Him's going to be big boy. You can see, so you see his little whiskers coming back? Come here. Ringworm actually will, um, it eats the hair essentially, and some of that is whiskers, and so they end up losing their whiskers with ringworm, and they're starting to come back. Do you think there's a difference in quality of life between home-based shelters and foster shelters? Um, I don't think quality of life is the right term. I think it's just about the conditions, but, you know, a life saved is a life saved. Some cats and shelters try to do a good job of this. Some animals that are more stressed in a shelter environment, they try to get out. Some cats, like kittens, who would do just fine in a shelter environment, you know, they're pretty easygoing. They keep them there, but a life saved is a life saved. I think it's best to have two cats for company. My girl's nearly three, but I love giving her 100%. Um, having two cats is like having one cat, in my humble opinion. It's not really extra work. And it's really good for them socially. That's just my humble opinion. Hi, buddy. Favorite isn't a cat, it's a cow. And you know what? You guys don't know me. How to use the bathroom with them in there. This bathroom we don't use. It's a guest bathroom. We have um, two full baths in this house. Where are you going? What are you doing? Come here. He's so cute. You see how his little whiskers are growing back? That's because you lost them because the ringworm. Had the foster grown since you joined TikTok? What do you mean? Has the rescue joint grown? Yes, the rescue's grown a lot. Actually, year to date, we've already done half of what we did in the entire last year, a little over half. So this year is on track to be a very big year. We separated our two kitties for a day. When they were reunited, we were surprised how excited they were. Kitties, remember, they're, they, they have friends too. Oh, yes, you're a good boy. I think she's coming. My cats, Mr. Moo Moo, Angel Boots, Hesse, and Rocky. <laughs> I like Moo Moo. Beep bop. Hi. What are you doing, Beep bop? You're so cute. Oh, okay. Goodbye. What are you doing, cowboy? Are the two things hard to sanitize? Not really. I can just kind of dunk them in the bucket I have. So I just basically like drown them in the bucket. And then I set this one out there to out of the room to dry. And I have one out there I bring in that's just been sanitized. So I kind of rotate the two. Tail tip. I know. He's just a cute boy. Bebop. Hi, Bebop. What's she doing, girly? She's figuring it out. She'll get there. Who's the purr monster? Cowboy. Your do do cowboy. What's she doing? No munchkin. Think about letting cats know when other kitties have... A song, I should have been a cowboy. I should have learned to rope and ride. But wear my six shoe, riding my pony on a kettle drive. Running into bushes. Hiding from the person trying to trap me. <laughs> You're cute. Here's Beep Bop. She's come up to me a few times, but nothing like dramatic. Just more like comes up, sniffs, and then walks away. Old school Toby. Oh, Toby. Good old days. What's she doing, Bebop? She's so curious. She's not hiding. It's very good. She's making good progress. Sir, what are you doing? No one wanted to see that. In comparison to the Pixar babies, these two are the chillest cats. Well, it's because she's nervous, but when I'm not in here, I can hear them playing. Look at that floof. 
Look at all that fluff, buddy. The last time she let you near her, you plucked her from the bush. That is true. So we're working to build that trust. <laughs> yes, brother and sister, they are bonded. They have to go together. They have to go together. She heard you were talking smack. Did you think he would be easy to socialize? No, I didn't. Um, most of the times, the more difficult they are to trap, the more difficult they are to socialize. Oh, we're pooping. Hello from Australia. Hi, Lenny. You're sweet. Is it true four out of five orange cats are male? Um, 20%. Yeah. Wait, are female, you mean? Oh, yeah. Four out of five orange cats are male. Yeah. 80%. Although, I think that percentage is starting to change. We're seeing more and more orange female cats. I screen share your videos with my mom all the time. Oh, Tell her good luck with the baby and check out Kitten Lady. I should have been a cowboy. I wish I didn't have ringworm. Who was the first cat I saved? She was this little tortie that I found at the gym and I couldn't bring her home because I was renting and we weren't allowed to have cats. And so I got her all set up at our gym and then found her a really good forever home. That song is gonna stuck in my head now. You welcome. Hello, Peepop. Look at her cute face. Oh, oh, we're in, we're in tack mode. Cowboy has some big ears. He's got big ears and floofs. Short legs. He kind of does look like he has short legs. I don't know. It's kind of too early to tell. I think he's going to be big. Cowboy plus moo cow overlord. Overload. You not wrong. What you doing, buddy? Have you seen the lady that saved LG? I did not. <laughs> you see that gentle play? Mary, were tuna, squid, mac, and trout the first you put on TikTok? Yes, they were. Well, I guess they were the first, like, I introduced and that went viral. The first ones I introduced were the Valentine's Day babies. But yeah, the, uh, the ones I trapped at the parking garage... They are siblings. No, they probably have the same dad. Their coloring is very similar. Their patterning is similar. I bet they have the same dad. Yeah, are you ever nervous or scared when it comes to rescuing babies? I'm scared that we won't be able to grab them, but I'm not scared, like, because of the situation or nervous that I'm doing something wrong. I just go in and do what I need to do and leave. LG is a cat who was hit by a car semi-feral. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yes. She's doing really good. I haven't been, like, fully following, but I've been seeing her pop up on my FYP a few times. What are you doing, cowboy? Scared of the mansion. Okay, that's fair. But that's a different story. That's, like, a lot of unknowns I wasn't quite prepared for. You Normal trapping, we have a lot of knowns. Hello. Where's your sister? How are the gas babies? They're doing really well at foster. They like, they cuddle their foster all the time. They're best friends. It's great. Foster is my favorite TikTok cat right now. Let's be honest. I think Pot Roast Mom is all of our favorite TikToker right now. And Fawcett is a good bonus. Um, I've never had to deal with a cat with motion sickness, so I don't really. Did you go back to that house where the two kitties didn't make it? We haven't gone yet. But it isn't our plan to do. We're limited by surgery slots currently. We don't have a lot of surgery availability. <laughs> I have seen poor Barros. Hey. What are you doing? Did the mansion ever get demolished? It's still up. It has not been demolished. It's still there. Can you give a boop? I can try, but I think we're about to enter crazy time. 
Cowboy. She just takes it. Cowboy. Did I miss Jack Jack? Yes, we have. Ringworm has become my arch nemesis. Ringworm sucks. It's no fun, but it's not deadly. Hi, what you doing? You get her. Get him, cowboy. Get her. Get him, beep up. She's like, don't you know I'm in danger? Am I witnessing Beep Bob's villain origin story? A little bit. Cowboy. The cat is not mean, they're playing. She's just a little bit scared and not fighting back right now. How can you tell when kitties are being too rough when playing? Um, when there's a lot of screaming. I've not been able to TNR recently. We'll be going Sunday. We're gonna go back to the farm on Sunday. I've been very busy. But we haven't had a lot of surgery slots. How you keep up with your questions is beyond me. Um, I definitely know that I miss quite a few because sometimes the questions will load like 10,000. But if you don't want to miss any questions, um, I'll do a little shameless plug. Are you ready? Here, we'll do a shameless plug. I started a Patreon because if you remember the last live I did, you guys convinced me to do it essentially. So I did start a Patreon and I try to get back to everyone on there. So if you have questions, as long as they're not like, don't join there to ask me vet advice. Okay, I'm not. I'm not a vet. You have to understand that I answer those questions all the time with my fosters, um, but I can be there to like offer suggestions or maybe share some resources or just have a good old hunky dory time. Yeah, I have a Patreon. I try to make everything as affordable as possible. You do not have to. If you want to, if you want to support the rescue instead, please support the rescue instead. If you don't want to support it all, that's fine. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's all. I appreciate you guys. Anyway. Back to kittens. You guys are sweet. I know it's only been like three days, but I am enjoying, especially the morning muse. Who thought of names for the ringworm babies? I'm a partner. I think you could do Patreon from Australia. I think it's worldwide. Bruno's been adopted. The pineapple juice. Ah, hi, Emma. You're sweet. Look into Cameo, too. Okay, I don't have time for Cameo. That's a great idea, but I, I really don't have time for Cameo. Patreon, I love because it's a nice little thing. I can talk to so many of you at the same time. It's It's been a good time, you know what I mean? But the Cameo just seems like one extra. It's my first time I've ever used it. Well, I'm glad you guys started. You guys are joining. I do use Amazon Smile. That is for the rescue. The Patreon is not for the rescue. It is for me. So if you are deciding to support the rescue or me, I always recommend you support the rescue first. We'll do anything for extra secret kitten content and extra lives. We'll do those too. I would absolutely do a cameo though. I know, but it's just so much extra. My next bangle will be Mary. Aw, it's not weird. It's very sweet and thoughtful. What are you doing, you weirdo? I did call you weird because you're being weird. We do have. I I did briefly put up an Amazon wish list, um, but you guys already ordered the thing that I needed, so I took it down because I. Uh, Patreon's the way you can support me. Everything else is the way you can support the rescue. Um, actually, yes, kitties who are getting adopted soon. Here, it's Sarah both using the bathroom. Um, let's see, Edna and Jack-Jack will be going home in about one and a half weeks. So prepare yourself. Um, Wally, I believe, goes home early June. Tata will go home mid-June. And then the three downstairs will hopefully be fixed end of June and will have hopefully found their forever home. Then 
These guys, in a perfect world, next week they would test negative for ringworm so they could get fixed the following week and then we could adopt them that week. They don't have a forever home lined up, but I, I know that won't really be a problem. I mean, look at them, they're cute. But they probably will be adopted very fast because they are, I mean, have you seen them? I mean, technically the Patreon is for the rescue too. Without you, there's no rescue. Okay, that's fair point. Fair point. I've officially joined almost $3 through my Amazon Smile. Listen, literally every bit helps. Any tips on introducing new fluff to our big fluff? Check out Jackson Galaxy. He will walk you through all of that. Still waiting for an orange kitty. We actually have orange girls who will be up for adoption very soon. If you check out a Journey's Purposes page, they have two orange girls currently. And they actually have one orange boy who's, he's a tripod. And I think that they're, they were going to keep him, but they're not sure if they're going to keep him. He might be up for adoption. Not prepared. I know. I'm so sad. The cat snuck out of the galaxy quarantine and demanded to be friends. Well, that's fine. I mean, you just have to go based on, sorry, watch went off. Um, you have to go based off what they want. I'm glad you enjoy I love Aki. That is Aki. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. But I also am going to do a non-kitten thing early, early tomorrow morning. So I, yeah, I, we don't get many orange kittens. We really don't. We get a lot of voids. We get a lot of gravies and a lot of tabbies. Um, it's kind of been odd that we've been getting a lot of these like non-gray, black, or tabby kittens, which I'm fine with. I love them all. Don't get me wrong. But yeah, we don't normally get a lot of orange babies. I will take care of myself. I'm gonna, I gotta get these guys their meds. And then I need to go feed mama out in the garage and babies and then get to bed because I need to get up really early. If a taxi comes in, would you keep them? No, right now we have Edna and I'm, we won't keep her. Oh, that noodle, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think he was our last full orange. It's been a while. Pineapple juice, my friends. I'm gonna... I'm going to call it, get to bed, and, uh, yeah, I will see you. Do you have senior cats in the rescue? We do. We have one. His name is Iron, and he's been in the rescue for a long time, and we really need to find him a home. He's a single dude, and he really needs a singular home who will let him live out his best life. Okay. Pineapple juice. Love you guys. Oh children. Bye.